Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Amy Usherwood and I am so happy that you're here today. I have been going back and forth for an upcoming video of a bathroom transformation on whether to wallpaper the bathroom. And because of cost and because of, you know, we're renting, we don't know if the wallpaper will actually come off because there's so many mixed reviews about peel and stick wallpaper. Um, I decided to just make a wall shelf. I'm also going to be incorporating some wallpaper into the shelf. This is a great way to get some texture, to get some interest, to get some vintage florals into the washroom without having to buy rolls and rolls of wallpaper. Let's start the video because it's always nicer to see it instead of just hear about it. So let's go. <laughs> So basically, I have some long pieces of pine right here. And I'm going to rip it down. So first I'm gonna cut it lengthwise, and then I'll rip it into the middle to five inches. So I need two pieces of 30 inches, and I need two pieces of 20 inches, and each one is going to be five inches uh, in width. This, you know what, I think I'm going to change it to 25. 25. Now, technically, using, using the square is a bit redundant because I have this line here. Um, but I'm going to use it anyway just because force of habit. Um, and it's also nice to just kind of know what the heck you're doing. this method, I definitely want to make sure that the blade is on, that it's not going to cut next to the line, but it's going to actually cut right on the line, uh, and that will make the tracing method a bit more accurate, what I've found anyways. Now that we have all of the, now that we have all of the lengths, um, this is obviously like a super, like imagine this coming, shooting out of the wall above the toilet. <laughs> so you definitely, or we definitely don't want it to be this wide. So like I said earlier, it's going to be five inches. So we've got our top and our bottom, and then we've got our two sides, our two sides. <laughs> So this guide has a ruler, which is pretty great. Um, I've been told you don't really want to rely on this ruler um, because a tape measure, other items uh, would be a lot more accurate. But I kind of look at this as rough carpentry, so I am... Um, I think this will be fine. So I'm going to put it on the five right here.
this is Amy from the future as I was editing. I realized I didn't accurately close it out. That's gonna be, or this is going to be part one of this shelf that we're making. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like right now. It still has to be uh, put together um, and then put the shelves in and maybe put some rods across to kind of uh, act as some security for things that go onto the shelf. So as you can see, I do have this tucked into the groove, which looks pretty neat. I think this is gonna look very pretty. I'm still trying to decide if I wanna paint this, like a nice, maybe navy blue, or just stain it a nice, like dark walnut-y stain, or even, uh, you know, a nice cream color, maybe a beige. I still have to decide on that. Um, but then I still obviously need to add the shelving. So I still have to decide if I'm gonna add in these rods, which kind of add a nice vintage feel to it. These are gonna be the shelves. These were the cutoffs from the previous, or from the other side. And then I'm thinking maybe putting like a nice rack there. I don't know. And then just imagining having two of these. So one, two. I don't know. I'm really liking how it's turning out. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. It really helps me out. And I would love to build a community of like-minded people. And I really hope it inspires you to try something similar yourself. But next week, we're going to finish up this project and... We'll see what we get up to. What If we're gonna paint it, if we're gonna stain it, you'll have to see. Okay, bye guys. Oh, that's so much better. Oh.